Hi Stampers, welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Jill and I'm here to show you this gift bag that we learned at a Stampin' Up! class called Creativity Now. And it was so fun that I'm like, I need to do a video on this gift bag and kind of show you a little twist with it because I did it in several different sizes. I'm gonna share with you several measurements that you can use to make different size gift bags. So let me go ahead and show you the one that we learned on our class. It's nine and a half by seven of designer series paper and you use two sheets of designer series paper, 12 by 12, to make this gift bag. Um, if you notice, the yellow is where you put the adhesive. And so I will show you exactly how to do this on this video. This is the measurements of all the gift bags. And if you notice, the original one is nine and a half by seven. Basically, the smaller bags, the actual scoring lines are the same. The only difference is the size of the paper. So let me show you. This is the one that we made for our class. And then Aubrey made this really cute one for the fall, just with a belly band, the exact same size for the bag as this one for the class. This one is the bigger bag right here that we made or that I made and basically just took it up an inch on both sides of the DSP. So the red one is 10 and a half by eight. This one is nine and a half by seven. And then the next size I made two of, and this one is six by eight and a half. So you only need one piece of DSP to make this bag because it works with one sheet of 12 by 12. Then there's a Christmas one too. You can see the difference. And now here's the baby bag. And this is seven and a half by five. So if you notice, all those measurements basically are just one inch apart, but all the scoring is the same no matter what size bag you use. And I was thinking, you know, goodies to put in the bags and stuff, and I thought this one is a really good um, size to be able to put a book in or a video game or a DVD. So you could use, or just cards and envelopes too, would go really cute in this size. So let me go ahead and show you how to do this bag. I already have this piece of DSP and I'm using from the, it's the Holiday Mini Catalog. And I love this cottage. It's called Gingham Cottage 12 by 12. And it has all these different colors in it. And if you noticed, I used it on this one right here. And it's fun because it has different size checks, little checks on the inside and bigger checks on the outside. So you can decide just like on this, it has the big checks, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it on the smaller side. Actually, I think maybe I'll try it on the bigger side. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start by scoring on the bottom piece and that's one and a half inches on the score line. So I like to take my cutter out so I don't cut it by accident. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Then let's go ahead and do, this side one is also one and a half from the bottom and then the one side is one and a half. This is the top of the bag, this is the bottom for right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and score this all the way down through that so it cross hashes. Now I'm gonna move this over to the three quarter, um, three fourths of an inch, which is half of one and a half. And I'm gonna go ahead and score all the way down to this point, which is the one and a half inch. So if you look, it's right here. I'm gonna go ahead and score this and stop right there. This one I scored all the way down Okay, and this I've already scored. So that's where we're at. Now I'm gonna stop at the one and a half inch. Now with our cutter, it shows you right where one and a half inch is. So you can stop right there. Now I'm gonna take the top of this, 
which if you look right here is three quarters of an inch on the top. Okay, and then I'm gonna twist it one more time. This is the right side of the bag, the left side of the bag. And if you look at that, that's only a half an inch because this part of the bag is just gonna be adhered underneath the DSP. Okay, so I went ahead and I've already scored the other piece. So I've got the two pieces right here. So you make wanna sure that, if you notice this is directional paper, so I wanted to make sure I scored it right. Now with this, if you notice, this is where you cut off right here and here and then you cut here and here. The same on that piece. The yellow is where the adhesive goes. So I'm gonna first cut and trim those little pieces, just like they say on the, the actual pattern. So that, and this on this side too, just exactly the same. And just gotta make sure, sometimes it's hard to see on the white where you scored. And then I'm going to go, go ahead and cut this too on this side, just right up to where the score line is. Same thing with this. Then the adhesive is next. All right, so our adhesive, you wanna take this, I turn it this way so I can look at where the score line is and I'm gonna take the tear and tape and I'm gonna basically put it right after the score line because I don't want it to show when my, and then just tear it. And I like to take my fingernail and just rub it against it like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the tape on this piece twice. So one right here and then burnish it down and the same thing with on this piece on the bottom and tear it and burnish it down. And then this piece right here, I'm just gonna put the tear and tape just on this one side. Okay, so you've got that. Now the same thing on the other one, except you're not gonna put these two down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start this on the line so it's ready to go all the way to the top. And then we'll just do this right here. We are not gonna do anything with this piece, just adhesive on that. Okay, so that's that part. Now after we burnish it, I like to go ahead and take the adhesive off this one right here that I'm working with, and especially right here on the edge. So what I'm gonna do, actually, I should have showed you this first, before you take the pieces off your, your adhesive, you wanna fold all this together. Now this part, you're gonna fold like this because this is the gusset on your bag. So this is sticky, so you don't wanna do it just like how I showed because guess what? We have the gusset and let's not do that. <laughs> well, fold first before you take the adhesive off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fold all these so they're ready when we put it together. Bring that gusset back this way and then this piece is gonna go down when you actually get it all together. Okay, so you have all those pieces basically folded. Now this right here is going to adhere this together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this right up before the score line so it's not quite right on it, but right before it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and push that down. Okay, so that is that part of the bag. And you look, you've got it basically ready for that. Now, on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. So we're doing both sides at first. Take off your adhesive. 
on the tear and tape. And this really holds your bag together. Same thing, I'm gonna, with this, I'm gonna do the same thing where I'm gonna line up the score line and then push it down from there. So it looks like this, okay? Now we've got our shape of our bag and now we're gonna take the tear and tape off all these pieces right here. We have that. We have two of these right here on the same piece. Did I get that all off? Yes. Okay, and these little ones right here. There's nothing on this part because that's gonna be the bottom of your bag and you wanna make sure you don't put adhesive on both of these flaps because you'll then you'll have adhesive on the bottom of your bag. Okay, what we're gonna start with is the adhesive piece, this one right here, the two sides are gonna go down first. Then this side with all the adhesive on it, the two strips of adhesive, and now this is the side that doesn't have any adhesive on it. That's gonna be the bottom of your bag. You can take your hand in here and just press it so that they all stick. So you've got that, the bottom of your bag. Now these have been folded in. Remember how I said that this is like the shape of your bag? Now you can decide if I want this side to be the front or this side to be the front. It really doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make this my front. Let me take this out and put the air back in the bag. Okay, so that will be at the front. What I used to decorate this with is the hippiest hippos and the hippo dies from our celebration brochure, which is current right now as of July. And the cool thing about this is with a $50 order, you can get this free. And with another $50 order, you can get this free. And I went ahead and already stamped this, but let me show you. I used the Memento ink, and I went ahead and used this really cute hippo that's dancing. And I cut it out with a die. And then I went ahead and used a saying that says, love you a ton. And I cut that out with a die. So we've got both of those done with the memento. And the reason why is because we use the blends here, the smoky slate blends. And the pink was done with the melon mambo. And then the little pink was done with the light flirty flamingo. So you can see all those colors in that hippo. And then we cut it out. So all the dies are gonna be listed that we used on our project here if you want to duplicate it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the adhesive on this and put this together on stampandjill.com. And let's pop up this little hippo. I just love these cute, cause this is like, um, could be for a baby girl or for a little girl, but it's a very fun um, idea. But I love these bags because you could use them for so many things, treats and everything. Just gonna put it over here to the side a little bit, and then we'll go ahead and put some dimensionals right here on this to pop this one up too. Let's see. Now this bag is super easy because once you've done all the scoring and um, just cutting, you can do the different sizes just by changing your piece of paper because the scoring is the same on each one. So you get kind of like you remember. So once you've made one or two, it's like goes really fast. Okay, love you a ton. And let's, because this is a bag, we don't have to mail it. Of course, let's put some more dimensionals on it because I think it's so cute to be able to do that and give that dimension. Okay, we're gonna pop this up. And this one we're gonna put on 
the scallop piece right here and just kind of frame it. Oh, but I want to get my saying right. And I think we should pop that one up too. I don't ever think you can use enough dimensionals. <laughs> my girls that work with me feel that same way, I think, but I think I use them more than they do. It's like a staple that you have to have in your stamping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this and you can decide if you want to put it up here. I'm going to put it down more in the middle of the bag and then I'm going to take this ribbon right here that I already kind of cut out in a cute ribbon in a cute bow. Let's see. Maybe I'll put it there. No, I think I will put it back up here. And I have some Velcro dots that I'll put on this that will go ahead and adhere that down. So let me go ahead and cut these a little bit so they're not too crazy all over the place. This seam binding ribbon is really fun because you can color it any color you want. So let's go ahead and put that on with our glue dots. Oops. Okay, so we're going to put that on and we'll have all these other cute little bags on display. Also, all the different sizes on our website and you'll be able to get those ideas too. Here's some Velcro dots that I just got at a local store um, and Basically, they're rough on one end and fuzzy on the other, and I just stuck them there. And they're kind of clear, so you don't really see them, but they're nice to be able to open up, and then you can reuse the bag over and over again. So I use that on a lot of these. So hope you've enjoyed our fun gift bag that we learned from our Creativity Now from Stampin' Up. Check out our stampinjill.com for these items that we've used and the measurements and have a happy stamping day.